Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I wanted to give you my full review of the Urban EDC Trevor Burger LC. This is a knife that I was very excited for and I actually pre-ordered last year. Um, <clears throat> took a long time, as many Riot made knives do. But um, I overall, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed and I'm happy. Uh, this is definitely a knife I'm gonna keep. And, um, yeah, I just, it's one of those that was hyped up for a long time. I kind of bought, bought the pre-order, sent my money and everything, and then forgot about it, honestly. Um, forgot about it, and then I got an email, very excited about that. Um, and I actually got one off of the secondary, I have another video on that, comparing, um, two versions. So this version and then I also had the um, full titanium and um, uh, M390 belt satin uh, blade. I liked the belt satin one. I prefer this variation. Um, and we'll get into that but starting off aesthetically I think this version in particular is my favorite looking. There was one that had a micarta Full micarta top scale, show scale, whatever you want to call it. And then titanium back here. I think it was stonewash titanium. And then the other version that I had comparing them was the belt satin with the full titanium um, on both sides. I think yeah, both stonewashed. And then <clears throat> this ver version right here. So there were three. This version has the acid etch blade, which I really enjoy. Um, it has this micarta inlay that we will talk about. Um, and yeah, it, it, honestly, this one definitely looks the part. It looks, you know, it, I don't have another knife like it. Let's put it like that. <clears throat> it looks cool. And I was immediately intrigued with this one. Um, on the baby Barlow, I really like from Urban EDC, I really liked the inlay. So I thought if I like the inlay on this one, I'll like it on this one. This is G10. This is my Carta obviously different but that was my thought process on that i like the inlay i like the way riyadh does inlays um i really like these pivots here they kind of it's got that trevor burger custom look to it but you don't need proprietary hardware it's that t8 which i love i think there's t8 all over this thing um all the screws uh, let's see what else what else i really like the spear point blade i've used this a ton carried it a ton and i can tell you that this is a really nice blade shape it's kind of in between that you know classic draw point and the worn clift it's very usable that tip is easy to get to easy to rip things open and use that um <clears throat> let's get into ergonomics ergonomics this thing fits my hand perfect I really, the size of this overall, I think this is like a 2.8 inch blade. Um, and it's just perfect. The blade handle ratio to me is perfect. Um, the handle itself works well in hand. It's like kind of a neutral, doesn't have like a big choil or anything, which I actually like, fits the hand well. Um, I've never tried any of Trevor Burger's customs, but from what I can tell, a lot of them have this same kind of very neutral handle, which I appreciate. The blade stock is somewhat thick, so it gives you a nice purchase, and it's got a, a full flat grind on it, which I know his customs have this very nice um, hollow grind, which make it reverse flickable, but with this acid etch um, and this uh, this flat grind, it, you, can, you can easily flick it. Um, so well, let's get into kind of the action. So when I first got it, the action was not incredible. Um, but as I've broken it in and I added a little uh, KPL on the uh, on the D10 ball, and this has broken in fabulously. I had when I first got that other the other version, um, the full tie and the belt satin. It was the same as this. Still kind of breaking in. You have to shake it shut. But wow, this thing has just, I mean, it's come a long way in not a lot of time. I mean, within the first couple of days, it was already dropping. 
and it's honestly the d10 is absolutely dialed on this love that you can spidey flick it i love it i love the front flipper this jimping is very aggressive i will say that i uh i was um <clears throat> i had a long car ride and i was flipping this thing just front flipping it over and over and over again and after like a half hour i just stopped because my hands were actually like torn up but um I mean, that's, you know, 45 minutes straight of me just gripping down on this front flipper. The, f the side of my thumb was just eaten up. But, um, now the jumping is really nice. It works well. And, um, you know, this is kind of a classic for Trevor Burger. It kind of goes up and around. So it's hard to miss, which I really enjoy. The knife overall is really well thought out. The design is really great. I think the size is really great. Um, fidgetability, very nice. It's not a it's not a traditional flick. Like if you had you know something like this with like a hole that you're just like you know exactly where to go. It's not you don't have to think about it. This one you definitely have to think about it a little bit. But once you get the hang of it, it's it just comes flying out. It's you got to get a little bit lower. It normally would, but you know, no problems, no problem at all. There, it was a little bit more difficult with the belt satin one. There was a little bit less grip. This this acid etch, acid wash, really really adds a little bit more texture to kind of push off of. Um, here, we'll do a little size comparison here. This is kind of like a perfect size comparison. We'll get a nimble one here too. But yeah, this. I've said it a million times, this for me is like the perfect size. I really like that, you know, right under that three inch mark. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, overall, I think this is a great knife. I think that, you know, I'm glad that they did the pre-order the way they did. They cut off, I think it was like, what, like 260, 270. I think out the door, I paid like 300 bucks for this. And I mean, what you're getting is a Riot build quality with a great Trevor Burger design. And I think that's, you know, that's awesome. Um, let's let's get into some nitpicks I have about this knife. So first off, uh, the clip is horrible. Um, if you could see the way that this is designed, it's got a ton of tension and it's all coming down right here. There's no, you know, there's no like swedge to it. It's not sharing. You can just see. I can, I can barely even lift this with my finger. Getting this in and out of pocket is an absolute bitch. Uh, it is not good. Not good at all. And honestly, um, yeah. And th there's not much you can do. You know, it's not like, like if I just pulled this out more, it just wouldn't work as a clip. It's not like I can just, you know, loosen it or anything so that is a huge fail on my part um i mean i can if i'm wearing like thin shorts it works like it's fine it's not great but if i'm wearing jeans this is a literal nightmare and i think that that is such a bummer considering that this is such a good knife i think that for this price it's just unacceptable um and yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a true bummer. I've never, like I said, I've never had his customs. I don't know if his customs have clips like this. I don't know what they look like, but I can tell you that this clip is absolutely no fun to work with. Um, like I said, a bit of a bummer for me. Is it going to kill the knife? Am I going to sell it because of that? No. <clears throat> no, I'm not, but it's still, it's a huge bummer and it's a huge miss on this knife. One thing I want to note as well, I don't, I've never handled the full micarta scale, but I can tell you with this micarta, they put some sort of like laminate on it or something. It, it feels like plastic. It does not feel like micarta and it absorbs so fast. I mean, you can just tell, you can just see if I don't put the light on it, you can't even tell that there's an inlay like you couldn't even tell it's only until you look right in the light you're like oh okay there it is 
And that kind of sucks, honestly. If I'm getting an inlay, I'd like to be able to see it. You know what I mean? Like, I get why they did the the micarta. We'll bring that baby Barlow back. I just, I loved the inlay on this because it's a different texture, right? Like, sure, the lines are seamless. Like, I can only tell where this starts and where it finishes because it's a different grip, right? That G10 is so grippy and then the titanium is nice and sleek. So it's like right when you get to it, you know where it is. And honestly, it's nice. I like that. Like, I don't know. This micarta just missed the mark for me. I can't even feel it. I can barely see it. I don't know. It just, it feels like almost an afterthought. Like they just threw something in there to fill the spot. And they're like, that's it. That's fine. Which kind of bumps me out. Um, if I'm being honest with you. With that price point and how hyped I was for this knife originally before it took six months. Um, you know, I thought the inlay was going to look sweet and in the pictures it does look sweet, but I mean, within a day it was darkening. If I go like this, I mean, you, you can't, it's just, it's honestly unacceptable to me. It's not, it's just, like I said, it feels like an afterthought and, uh, I just think they could have done it better. The clip and this could have been done better. But the knife overall is really good. Um, the action is great. Ergo's great. Um, and, you know, I think I think that it's a fair price. I know his customs go for like six, $700. So seeing something in that two to $300 range really made me excited. I've always wanted to try Trevor Burger. And honestly, this just makes me want to try one of his customs even more. I know he's started to do this model in his custom line it's called the urban and i'm going to be definitely on the lookout for one just to you know compare and then at the end of the day like i want to see like how does he address these clips um and how does he do them you know how like inlays like how are his inlays i just just to compare and see um but yeah i mean that that's pretty much it those are my my two big nitpicks on this everything else um I think is fine. Access to the lock bar is fine. You can kind of see it's raised right there. It works fine. But yeah, everything else, everything else I like. No real nitpicks, no real anything other than those two. So there it is, guys. There is the full review of the Urban EDC Trevor Burger LC. Again, this was a pre-order. I believe when I'm filming this on... March 14th, March 15th, they drop, um, I believe, yeah, March 15th at noon, they should be dropping, so I'll try and get this video out tonight, um, that way you guys get a little bit of heads up, but, uh, again, just keep in mind what I said about the inlays and the clips and stuff, but other than that, this is a phenomenal knife, and I can recommend it to anyone, so, thanks for stopping by, guys, and, uh, have a good one, peace.